we are going to start with some problems based on standard integrals. So if at all you have a problem given in front of you which is of this form px upon ax plus b whole raised to the power n where px is the polynomial and n belongs to natural numbers means starting from 1, 2, 3 the degree is such. Then you have some question which would be familiar to something like this. So whatever methodology I am going to teach you for this question that would apply to any question given to you in this form and this is the first standard integral that we are taking up in consideration. So it is x square plus 1 upon x plus 1 whole square. If you can see very clearly what would the denominator expand to? It would expand to x square plus 1 plus 2x. Am I clear with this? That means x square plus 1 plus 2x will come out of which x square plus 1 is same as what is in the numerator. So only 2x is the different thing that is coming into picture. Now if that 2x can be introduced by somehow in the numerator that will be very beneficial to us. So what we have to do in such type of questions whatever the denominator is there try and make sure that something or the other can be imposed as the same in the numerator too. How to do it still I am going to tell you in the form of solution. So what is the question like? It is nothing but x square plus 1 and in the denominator it is nothing but x square plus 1 plus 2x and we have dx somewhat like this. Now what is not there in the numerator which is in the denominator that is 2x. No issues we can always introduce 2x. If I have to introduce 2x I add the numerator with 2x. But if I add something in mathematics I will also have to balance it by subtracting 2. So we do something like this. Now you see. Now we have already x square plus 1 plus 2x which is also there in the denominator. So that means x square plus 1 plus 2x and in the denominator 2 I have x square plus 1 plus 2x and separating the integrals dx here and the other side becomes minus 2 coming outside x here and x square plus 1 plus 2x again. So x square plus 1 plus 2x is nothing but x plus 1 whole square. Right? Now very important both these getting cancelled. So integration of 1 dx which is always you know the variable itself but later we can write. Let's see here minus 2 coming outside and x upon x plus 1 whole square is what is the story of the question. But now again see can we simplify directly? No. What is in the denominator x plus 1? See ax plus b raised to the power n, n is natural number here it is 2. So if x plus 1 is here, here also it should be what? Here also it should be x plus 1. Here also it should be dx by the way, right? For x plus 1, can I not introduce it? Definitely I can. So I write x plus 1. But if I add something in mathematics, subtraction also has to be done. x plus 1 whole square dx. Now what is it? Now it is very easy for us. Similar to the previous steps that we did, minus 2 already there. Here it is x plus 1. Here it is x plus 1. Not a big deal for us. These things getting cancelled, it becomes 1 upon x plus 1 dx, right? Then it is minus minus becoming plus. So plus 2 integration dx upon x plus 1 whole square, right? Now what is it? The last steps of the question directly we can solve. Integration of 1 with respect to dx x minus 2 log x plus 1 plus 2 then what is it? It is x plus 1 raised to the power minus 2 basically if I want to shift into the numerator. x plus 1 raised to the power minus 2. So it becomes x plus 1 raised to the power minus 1 upon minus 1 plus c. You know how did I integrate? By the power formula. So this is how you do these type of questions based on the first standard integral.